Hey guys, my name is Wilson. Today I'm gonna to share something a little bit mm, much more personal to me. I wanna tell you a little bit more about this decision that I've made. Uh, I know previously I've made this decision already. I've shot videos on, you know, quitting my brick and mortar many, many times. Actually, two videos I've recorded on that, but now this is actually truly happening. I am not quitting, but I'm transitioning and shifting all my focus from being a brick and mortar entrepreneur into becoming an e-commerce entrepreneur. And the reason why I'm doing that is because currently I'm running two different brick and mortar business. We're running uh, more than seven figures. And with this business, yes, it has provided me financially uh, freedom and then also a lot of satisfaction being able to deliver happiness to a lot of people with my uh, carnivals business. Now for us to do seven figures, we employ more than a hundred staff. Our percentage for labor is around 26%. Uh, our rent is around 28%. And our cost of goods sold, it's another 20, 30%, I would say. So that only leaves me with 25% or so of the bottom line in terms of the profits. And on top of that, it is so difficult to fail. I know previously, two years ago or three years ago, when I first started 720 Suites, I had a vision to create a hundred different franchises. Once I got into it, I realized it is much, much, much more difficult and very not worthwhile for that matter, to be completely honest with you. I truly believe I can still create that hundred franchises, to still go through the grind and the hustle and doing so. But then I realized the return in running a brick and mortar business is nowhere close to running an e-commerce business. And uh, just to share some stats with you, running an e-commerce business, you do not need high rent because basically you just need an office environment. It doesn't matter if you're running a $5 million business, $10 million, $10 million business, you're still only renting an office running an e-commerce business because all the inventory that you have, they, you have third party to actually deal with all the fulfillment. And on top of that, you can actually scale much quicker and much bigger without added costs. Um, previously, I ran an event, it's called Vancouver Winter Wonderland. I invested over half a million dollars in running an event. I planned over six months on this event. The amount of stress, the amount of trouble that I had was just insane. Now, the return, I broke even for the event but it was one of the hardest times of my career, if not my life. I actually went to a semi-depression after that. I didn't leave the house for three months. And that's just to say that if I were to keep expanding in this brick and mortar business, yes, half a million dollars I might be starting to make, you know, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 for that matter for running an event. Yes, still very good money. But on the other hand, if I were to invest the time, the energy and the resources and the finance in running an e-commerce business, the chances of success and the scalability of that, it's much higher. I'm not only limited to local people that can consume my product or my services, I can sell to the world. I can sell to people from the States, to Asia, to anywhere, Europe for that matter, which is the reason why I have decided that I'm, I'm done with the 10 years of brick and mortar. I'm done with hiring hundreds of people, dealing with all these back and forth, incentivizing them, um, having all the paperwork and everything to deal with running a brick and mortar business, which has a limited amount of potential. And I'm gonna focus entirely in building a brand on e-commerce, not just selling specifically on Amazon, but building a brand which I can position to sell in the future. Running an e-commerce brand, they have a lot of the advantage of lower cost in, in rents, as I was saying, lower labor as well, um, because at the end of the day, I don't need to have someone serve 200 different ice creams a day. I can have set up the systems, I can set up the sales funnel, I can set up the website, and automatically people are buying online, so I don't need someone monitoring it day in, day out. Just because the website is making $100,000, I don't need to add an extra person actually packing it because it's already worked into the cost of goods sold. Now, the third is obviously the scalability of a business that is an e-commerce business, which is the reason why I feel like I'm in a, in a very interesting um, stage of my career where I can transfer the 10 years of experience running a brick and mortar business 
and all the branding that is necessary to make these brands work into an e-commerce business. I'm super pumped up for that. I am just it's so much more difficult to create a brand that works in a brick and mortar environment because you actually have to get people to come out of their home, get out of the comfort, right? So if I can actually transfer the skill set that I've been able to have and attain the level of success that I had in a brick and mortar environment into a e-commerce business, then I can see that the possibility of success, it's gonna be much higher and I can't wait to share this journey with you and I really, really hope that you can follow along this journey and actually learn alongside with me. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna build this brand new brand and brand new e-commerce business alongside with you. So if you are interested in this transition, if you're considering building a business, whether it be a food and beverage business or e-commerce business, follow along the journey. I'm gonna share with you in and out. Um, otherwise, leave me a comment section in the comment section below and tell me exactly what you think if i made the right decision or not um, nonetheless hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next video